Hi, I'm Dr. Mitchell Goldman at Cosmetic Laser Dermatology, and congratulations, Skin Medica, on your 25th anniversary. I was asked to present at least my version of what the history was, and so I'm going to go back all the way to 1986. That's when I joined Dr. Richard Fitzpatrick in San Diego, California. Now, I don't know if many of you know Dr. Fitzpatrick, but he was a very unique individual. He always tried to do things that were out of the box and that people hadn't thought of. And so very early on, around 1988 or so, Dr. Fitzpatrick and I were talking and he, he wanted to start a skincare company because he believed in the value of antioxidants to not only prevent skin cancer, but also to help rejuvenate the skin. And so Fitzpatrick had this idea that we could make a cream with antioxidants, vitamin C, that would help to penetrate into the skin and help with rejuvenation. We had a friend that was actually at the La Costa Spa who was a formulator. And with this formulator at La Costa Spa and Fitzpatrick's idea of vitamin C, that's where the whole concept of our rejuvenating skin line came into effect. Our thing was to make it really nice in appearance on the skin and have a nice feel on the skin. At the same time, I was doing research on venous stasis ulcers with growth factor products to try to get those ulcers to heal. But one day Fitzpatrick was walking by the clinic as I was evaluating these ulcers for the study. And he said, you know, Mitch, the skin around the ulcer looks pretty good. Maybe there's something about these growth factors. And so what we did is we had John Garuto formulate those growth factors into a product and that ultimately became TNS. We then decided, okay, we now need a better company. And so we came up with different names. We came up with a name called Skin USA. And then eventually we came up with the name Skin Medica. And that's the name that actually we stuck with. And these growth factors called TNS or T tissue nutrient serum were the basis of Skin Medica. Now there's a long story about how Hollywood first got interested in those growth factors and who, what influencer at Hollywood actually got some prominent people to start using the TNS. It was that that really exploded uh, Skin Medica. And you all know that after that initial explosion with the growth factors, which is TNS, we then started really looking well at putting antioxidants into the skin. We formulated the TNS with antioxidants. We had incredibly smart people at Skin Medica, formulators and scientists to help us in, in perfecting the product. And then over the years, the TNS uh, and Skin Medica is what we see today, which is not just a growth factor company, but a company that encompasses all aspects of care from retinols to antioxidants to growth factors in order to provide the best care for our patients.